Well, Sharks fans, we are pretty excited about uh, this one. Uh, super pumped to introduce to you our newest Shark. He just happens to be one of uh, Australasia's brightest basketball prospects uh, as well too. Young fellow who's got a sight set on an NBA draft uh, in just over a year's time perhaps too. Mojave King, mate, welcome. How good? Super excited. Can't wait to get down there. Good stuff, mate. So you're in Adelaide, of course. We, we are part of the NBL uh, Next Stars program, uh, playing for the 36ers in the, in the Australian uh, NBL. Maybe start with your, uh, let's go through your basketball story, mate. T take us through where you started and, and where you've played and to, to get to this point. Yeah. Um, so I was actually born in New Zealand, uh, in Dunedin. Um, but then, yeah, moved to Australia when I was pretty young. And, um, yeah, my dad kind of got me into it from there. Uh, my mum and dad both played, sister played. Um, so I was always kind of going to get into it. So, yeah, started playing pretty young when I moved to Australia. And then since then, yeah, everything's just been all basketball for me. Yeah, so, so take us through the junior career as well, too, because you made a, you know, you've obviously made a real splash and, and put yourself on the uh, on the radar potentially uh, as well, too, literally from a, uh, from a draft point of view, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it kind of just started pretty normal, you know, coming up through, you know, just the local system in Brisbane where I was living at the time. Uh, and then I, after that, I got invited to uh, the NBA Academy after a couple good performances at, like, Australian Junior Championships. Um, and then from there, really, I was just, um, you know, getting a lot of exposure and a lot of opportunity to go overseas and play against, you know, other top prospects, um, I guess you'd call them, uh, from all over the world. Um, and I was doing pretty well at those kind of events. So uh, from there, kind of just started getting a couple of looks from, you know, NBA scouts, and things like that. Yeah, and I suppose you were then sort of faced with the decision, you know, what would have been what you would normally say the more traditional route through uh, the college system in the States, I guess, uh, you know, or uh, obviously you made the decision to, to play uh, in the Australian NBL over the last couple of years. So talk to us about that decision and I guess what led you to, uh, to choosing the Aussie NBL. Yeah, that was definitely a really tough decision for me to make. Um, it took a long time for me to make that decision. I actually took a couple of college visits and had a few more planned, uh, but didn't really get around to them after I signed um, to go pro in Australia. Uh, but that was just, you know, talking with my dad. And, uh, you know, I kind of was talking to an agent. You know, I wasn't, I hadn't signed with him at the time, but I was just talking to him about, you know, my options if I was to go pro. Um, and yeah, it just at the time it, and still, I think it was the better decision for me just, um, in terms of getting that experience, you know, um, college is great and it develops you a certain way and it, it is what it is, but you know, you can't really get real pro experience anywhere, but in the pros. So I just thought that was the, the thing I needed most. And this next hours program too, I mean, it's got to be um, for you coming through the ranks to see a Josh Giddy or, you know, a LaMelo Ball, or these guys who have actually come here and there is actually now a pathway directly into uh, the NBA, right? Yeah, for sure. I think um, all it really takes is, you know, exposure and then performing well when you're given the opportunity and then, you know, who knows, you know, anything could really happen from there. All right, so we've got a, a what, four or five month stunt here in Invercargill of all places as, as part of that journey. But, uh, but I suppose it is kind of a crucial year for you. How, how does it kind of map out and what do you want to achieve and need to achieve, I guess, you know, if you are to realise a dream, uh, you know, in just over a year's time, next year's draft? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for me is just, you know, working on things that I've been working on, you know, just developing, uh, keep getting better every day and um, learning still learning i'm very young obviously and I, i've got a lot to learn from everyone you know everyone's pretty much everyone who i'm around has been in it longer than me so yeah just trying to learn as much as i can and just soak it all in well we pretty, feel pretty fortunate about the old fella that we've got here and, and coach bevo uh, as well too you, i mean uh, obviously that's part of the, the the decision i guess to come here wasn't it too he's, he's a good man to sort of help uh, shape your development at this time of your career too we'd, we'd humbly sort of say you'd, you'd agree i guess yeah, definitely. I was kind of looking at where I wanted to be in this, you know, Australian NBL off season. Um, and yeah, my dad especially was really, really uh, making a point of me being under a great coach and just learning from him and developing under him every day. Yeah, so you've had discussions with Bevo. What have, what have uh, you guys sort of talked about in terms of the program and what you're hoping to achieve in the New Zealand NBL for the first time? 
Uh, yeah, I've spoken to him a little bit. Um, obviously, I've still been really busy with my schedule over here in Australia, coming to the end of the season here. Uh, but yeah, um, we're kind of mapping out right now uh, what I'm trying to get done when I'm there and like sort of like goals and then like targets for me to try and get. Um, so we're kind of going through that process now. Nice. Yeah, of course, it's something pretty cool too to play in the New Zealand NBL. It's something that your father made a real mark of, for, for those that aren't aware, Leonard, of course, who I think still to this day is what, the fourth highest scorer in NBL history or something like that too, which he probably reminds you of a little bit, mate. So it's a nice wee thing from a family point of view, I guess, to come over and have the chance to stamp your mark in the Kiwi League too, right? Yeah, definitely. It wasn't something that I you know, knew I was going to be doing, but now I'm definitely excited that I get the opportunity to. Yeah, have you heard much about the Sharks? It's, you know, it sounds down here and, and I guess the New Zealand NBL, what's your sort of thoughts coming? Yeah, I've heard a, a little bit about it. Um, you know, obviously, I know a couple of people that have played for the Sharks um, and I've been to Invercargill before, so. Nice. I know a little what bit. Was that? was that for basketball or was that a, a, a personal trip or for basketball? What was that? Yeah, that was for basketball, actually. It was like, it was a couple of years ago now, but I was playing for the North Otago Penguins. It was like right. a... A tournament for that I don't I don't remember what the tournament was but I just remember I was playing for them and uh, it was in Invercargill and it was super cold but yeah <laughs> yeah well you're a bit unlucky mate to be fair that we scheduled the you know it's a winter competition as well down south but anyway that's you know good 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 indoor, indoor gym for you to work in yeah it'll be all right it will so be mate and listen we as I say are super excited to get you here Mojave so uh Thank you so much. Really great decision, uh, as we would say that. But, uh, you know, super excited to obviously get you here uh, once the uh, Australian NBL is finished and, and uh, you know, have some fun this year as well too and, and help on that development and obviously what's a crucial year for you, mate. So uh, we look forward to seeing you soon, right? Travel uh, travel well for the back end of the uh, Australian NBL and we'll, we'll see you over uh, this side of the Tasman soon. All right. Can't wait. Thank you.